Ahmad Ghanim is an Arabic student, but he's also a founder of the Students Against the Coup Movement. And he's trying to coordinate their protest to ensure nobody gets injured. They're safe to demonstrate on university grounds where the security forces have no authority. We should retaliate for our brothers and sisters who were martyred. Mistakes have been made. We should admit that and remove Sisi. But many of the students want to leave the university campus and protest in Nada Square, where hundreds of their classmates were killed in August when the military launched a crackdown on sit-ins here and in Rabah al adawiyah Many of our family members and classmates have been killed and injured, hundreds of them. But their blood fuels us, it encourages us and pushes us to do more. When more blood is spilt, it makes us keener to carry on. But Ahmed is worried about telling them to leave the university and head into the square. He calls other coordinators to find out where the security forces are set up. The university's own security tell the students not to leave. Just a handful make a stand outside, but it's short-lived. Other universities in the Nile Delta also held protest marches on campus. Here in Mansoura, local people threw stones at the students. And there was violence in Zagazig University, where seven people were taken to hospital after further violence. The students are determined to keep the anti-coup movement alive, with local demonstrations planned every day until Friday, when they will again try to march on Tahrir Square, something the Interior Minister has now said will never happen. Al Jazeera, Cairo.